Hey guys, how are we all doing? Uh, back again, finally. Um, uh, camping tonight and tomorrow, two nights. Um, wild camping, but it's on a campsite designed for wild campers. We're not out, out in the bush or anything like that, or wilderness. And uh, it's Black Mountain Fishing Camping in Garnand, Camarthenshire. Kamal I'll put a link in the description for it. Uh, really nice place, really peaceful. And you can do fishing here as well, obviously fishing and camping. Now, some of you may be wondering, what the hell are you doing? As in, this. Yep, this is my Hungarian Army Zelpan. I did a review on it, ooh, eight months ago, I think, something like that. Um, yeah, must have been eight months ago. But this is the first time I'm actually using it. So, there we go. Inside, Dura 2 sleeping bag, UL80 Trekology air mattress and pillow. Got a tarp on the bottom because obviously I don't want anything to puncture the mattress. Um, obviously, um, first time I'm using it as well. This little beauty, novice wild camper. Check out his channel, guys, on YouTube. Great channel. Um, nice guy too. He makes some great pillow. Uh, great pillow. Great table. Ideal for ground dwelling. Put your stuff on. Keep it off the floor. So I'm really chuffed with that. I'm using it for the first time. There will be photos going up as well of it, and uh, as requested by a few uh, subscribers. So I'll put that in the back end of the video. Uh, but yeah, really nice, lightweight, portable table. So I'm looking forward to it tonight. Looking forward to actually sleeping in here for the first time. Uh, even though you might be able to hear it on the uh, gazebo, um, the rain. But it's absolutely boiling, to be honest with you. It really is. Now, you might be asking, why the hell am I under a Zelt, uh, put a Zelt one under a gazebo? Simple answer is, I haven't waterproofed it. Oops. So, I obviously don't want to get soaked. So, here we go. But, should be a good two nights, and I will bring you back later. Hi hey guys, how are we doing? So, camp set up now, and uh, Scott and I have come down to the Trout Lake. See if we can catch something for supper. Maybe, maybe not, but I do know for a fact there's some nice hefty trout in you. Uh, we've actually seen one, I don't know if you can see the speed of it on the night. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, there's actually one swimming out there by the island. He seems to be doing circles. Looks like head over there properly. But they are here. And they are some nice, really nice sized trout, didn't you? Really nice sized trout. Um, as I said before, if you look at the link I'll post for Black Mountain, have a look. And they're at photos because you'll see the trout. That some of them are stonkers. So I'm on a tree one I'm using. It's a Fladden Power Ledger uh, quiver tip. I'm using size 10 hook with a running ledger and some sweet corn soaked in chilli powder as bait. So we have to see how it goes. Fingers crossed. Hmm, maybe. You know, you know, it's nice, nice, peaceful, quiet. Scott's fly fishing further up the bank. Not sure if we'll get anything this time of day. If I remember rightly, from when I've been up here before, the fish normally bite in the evenings and the mornings. But we'll give it a go, see what happens, you never know. You can but try. So if you get anything, I will let you know. Bring it back in a bit. Toodles. Afternoon, guys. Uh, still fishing. Um, I've had a couple of bites, but nothing. I haven't landed anything. Uh, Scott's landed two. Trout, rainbow, nice size. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not jealous. <laughs> nah, it's, yeah, it's the way it is, it's fishing. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to catch at least one today. We'll see how it goes. So, it's having a chill now. Nice chill by the lake. Got some mead. try and talk to you guys and keep drink have a drink and keep an eye on my rod at the same time 
Who says men can't multitask? So, bottoms up. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll get a couple of photos of the fish tonight, anyway, before we cook them. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll get some as well. Hmm. Catch you later. Evening guys, uh, still at Black Mountain, down by the lake, um, taking another part of the our camp up here. Uh, this place is reputably, reputably, reputedly haunted and is very active, so Scott, Abby and I are coming for a wander around the lake. Let's have a look to see if we catch anything. No, but apparently this place is very, very active. So, that's just my torch, right? That's an owl. Did you see anything? I'm bringing you back in a bit, guys. Good morning, guys. It's half past seven. Sunday morning. I'm the only one awake. Uh, so I'll show you the lake. Or the trout lake, anyway. Hope you're all having a great weekend. I know I am. It's been really great. I'm really, really enjoying this one. I know it's not a wild camp, as in out in the woods, away from everything, but I'm enjoying myself. It's a really nice place. Lovely. Just have a listen. Lovely. That's what I like. So I just thought I'd show you around briefly. If you go down that path there, that's to a coal slate down there and to the left. Some carp, uh, tents, and I think roach in there. And if I'm not mistaken, bream as well. Yeah. <clears throat> this is it. It's a lovely place. Well worth a visit. Um, I, know that, I know you can see a lot of the trees are quite thick. Uh, it's the same down there, but you can hammer camp down that way as well. So you don't have to do ground dwelling, you can hammer camp. And obviously then you've got all this area of tents. Ooh, there's life. Amanda. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully get some more videos done today. Got some great drone footage yesterday. And uh, tonight again we'll be having a bit of a ghost hunt. So, quite a mixture this weekend. You've got a wild camp, you've got camping, fishing, and go something. So, I think, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be a good video. Anyway, guys, I'll bring you back a bit later. Toodles. Hi, guys. Uh, well, Sunday evening. <laughs> I haven't done much videoing this time at all. Um, I think it's going to be one of the shortest vlogs I've ever done. Mm. But it's been a good camp, really chilled out. Take two. <laughs> oh, is that a crash Take three. All right, it's um, back. <laughs> Sunday night now. I haven't done much video at all this weekend. Oh, no. It's going to be. <laughs> it's um, going to be a pretty short one, unfortunately. But uh, well, so far anyway. Uh, but uh, the owner, one of the owners are coming down tonight. I've been doing a bit of a ghost hunt around the property. <laughs> <laughs> and that should be interesting. I'm walking backwards because there's an idiot coming up this way. What, the what with your cup? Getting up there, 
All right, okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's been a lovely day. Well, lovely weekend. Absolutely brilliant up here. So there will be some drone footage, especially now because there's clear sky and the sun's setting. So I do want to get the drone up and uh, get some photos of the sun setting in the west because it's beautiful. And one thing I would say, guys, I would highly recommend anyone to come up here for a camp. 100%. Catch you in a bit, guys. Toodles! Hey, guys. Back again. Uh, we're out on a ghost hunt now around the lakes again. Uh, Lee, the owner of the campsite, has come down to join us. Just walk around the edge of the lake. I've got to be careful. So, let's see what we find. If you do see anything, guys, please don't hesitate to let us know, though. We'd greatly appreciate it if you do see anything. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to hold this as steady as possible and look where I'm going at the same time. <clears throat> the noise you can use is a water pump uh, flooding water into one of the ponds. Once that goes off, we'll have some silence. We can really get down to it then, I hope. <laughs> Over there, that's where the pump is. Lee's just trying to sort that out now. There's a boat. I won't go too close. Because obviously the noise of that thing will just drown everything out. Taking a good few photos. Ah, the silence. So let's see what we get. Gonna draw that that big splash yesterday. Yeah. It's a cool little lake. <laughs> You can get them off here, man. Let's go stop for this one. I've got mine off eBay, I think. So let's see what we get. Get off. I'll bring you back in a minute, guys. Good morning, guys. Uh, Monday morning. I had a great weekend, yeah. The Black Mountain has been fantastic. I uh, didn't do much filming last night. Uh, did the little ghost tour around the lake, like you know, but nothing. So that's why I didn't bring any, do any more recording last night. But it's been a fantastic weekend with Scott, Amanda, AJ, and Abby. Really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Um, first time I've actually ground what then ground dwelling in I don't know how long. Hmm. What can I say about the Zalp Barn? Great bit of kit. Um, I've done some modifications, sorry, on it. Uh, put, I'll, show, in fact, I'll show you. Stay there, coffee. I won't do too much talking over by the camp because people are still asleep. Put 
those loops all around so it keeps it up a bit more and actually gives you a bit more space inside um, I know you might, might have saw my mattress poking out but that's when I was shifting around to get out it wasn't exactly flexible so yeah uh, yeah I've done that um, the only thing I would change about it is if I could get rid of that centre pole and see if I could keep it up some other way I'm not sure how I'll have to look into that because from me trying to get around that pole, ugh, it's hard work. But apart from that, yeah, I enjoyed kipping in this outbound. I really enjoyed it. I'm, I would do it again. Obviously, with winter coming, I don't think I'd sleep in that in the winter, to be honest. Personally, I'd like to be a bit more enclosed, have a bit more warmth. Mm. Mm. But we'll see. But anyway, yeah, I would highly recommend anyone to come here to Black Mountain. You know, it's a lovely place to let me show you. Sorry, I've got my tripod with me right now. Somebody else who pitched up last night. But yeah, I highly recommend the guys. I will put a link in the description for their Facebook page. Contact them if you want to come down. I would. Anyway, it's been a fantastic weekend. Um, I'm going to have another coffee now. Uh, we'll be packing up today. So it's been one good one. And uh, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned. And I will catch you on the next one. Doodles.